Hello collectors and space fans, I'm Jim Franjone and welcome to Taking Up Space, the place where space history lives and where every artifact tells a story. If you're passionate about the history of space flight and collecting vintage artifacts and memorabilia, you're going to want to click on a subscribe button and notification bell down below so that you don't miss out on a single episode. For our inaugural episode, I wanted to do something special by kicking things off and sharing an artifact and a story about one of my all-time favorite astronauts, Gus Grissom. Most of you watching this channel probably know the story behind Gus Grissom, but for the benefit of the young folks who may not know who he is, Gus Grissom was one of the original seven Mercury astronauts where he flew the suborbital mission of Liberty Bell 7 right in between the historic flights of Alan Shepard and John Glenn. Gus had a tremendous amount to do with the development of the Gemini spacecraft, and he even flew the Gemini spacecraft on its maiden voyage of Gemini Titan III with John Young in 1965. And he was on his way to becoming the world's first three-time space flyer when we sadly lost Gus and his fellow astronauts Ed White and Roger Chaffee in a tragic fire on Launch Complex 34 in January 1967, just weeks before their planned liftoff. Had he lived, we now know the first man on the moon likely would have been named Gus, not Neil. So for me it's unquestionable, but whatever way you slice it, Gus Grissom arguably may have been one of the most important and greatest astronauts of all time. All of that being said, Today's first artifact comes from his first mission, the flight of Mercury Liberty Bell 7. Again, as most of you probably are aware, he flew a nearly perfect mission, but upon recovery, his capsule sank to the bottom of the ocean after the explosive bolts on the hatch unexpectedly fired and the spacecraft flooded. It nearly killed him. He managed to survive, but his spaceship went to the ocean floor some 16,000 feet down. So one day shy of the 38th anniversary of that flight, that tiny capsule was found, it was raised, and it saw the light of day for the first time in decades, thanks to an expedition financed by the Discovery Channel and led by oceanographer Kurt Newport and the team at Oceaneering International. The Kansas Cosmosphere, known for its restoration of other spacecraft, including that of the command module of Apollo 13, led the restorations on Liberty Bell 7. And today, Liberty Bell 7 sits proudly displayed in Kansas. To raise money for that restoration effort, a small number of non-serviceable components were preserved and sold in limited quantities to collectors. What I have here is a small piece of film that came from the pilot observation camera of Liberty Bell 7. If we were to have footage from Liberty Bell 7, this is where it would have come from, that piece of film. Of course, there were no images to survive on the film, having been exposed to seawater for 38 years, but that it survived in and of itself is a bit of a miracle. So what does this piece of film speak to me in terms of the story it can tell? Well, it went to space with my hero astronaut Gus Grissom, and then it went to a depth 3,500 feet deeper than the Titanic before being recovered in an engineering feat that was every bit as miraculous and big and complicated as the space mission itself. That's a pretty impressive story, and it's something that I ponder every time I get a chance to walk past it and take a look at it. So there you have it, space fans and collectors, our inaugural episode of Taking Up Space and the story behind our first artifact. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you've enjoyed the show. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. And if you're looking to learn more about Gus Grissom, be sure to check out George Leopold's incredible book, Calculated Risk, The Supersonic Life and Times of Gus Grissom. I've included a link in the description down below. It's a fantastic read and it really gives a very good insight into the truth behind Gus Grissom, who was arguably, again, one of the greatest astronauts and most important astronauts our space program has ever known. So until next time, space fans and collectors, keep your head up and your eyes on the stars.